But I decided, okay, let, let's go a different route. Tough man contest. I joined that. I said, okay, that's another way to make quick, good money. I probably ain't going to do it forever, but hey, I can make this 5000 real quick by knocking these niggas out. Excuse my language. But uh, I got in the ring the first two fights. Bit, knocked them out in the first round. Third, third fight was fighting, fighting, let me see, Butterbean, Butterball, whatever the hell y'all call them nowadays. And, uh, hell, knocked him. Well, they call it TKO. It was a knockout, really, because the boy was out on his feet. He just didn't fall to the mat. But uh, they called that. And then they wanted to take me to Texas and fight. I said, man, I ain't been to go all down there. How much money you giving me? Well, we're going to give you 2000 man. That's all right. <laughs> there ain't no money. <laughs> Made the 5000 here. I don't know how the hell I need to go down there and make 2000 That's less. Sound like y'all just want to get me lower and lower and lower. So I dropped out of that. That's when my nephew Bruiser, he decided to... That's good. He decided to tell his friends about me. When they came down there, I didn't know they was called best friends. They came down there and they seen me and they were like, damn, it's a big boy. They came, met me I, after I came out the locker room, told me, man, you know how to throw them hands. I was like, I ain't know all I know how to throw. <laughs> <laughs> so they started asking me, do you want to make some uh, money knocking niggas out? I said, it may all depends on what y'all talking about. Man, I'll give you $5,000 if you knock this nigga out that is that is up at the pool hall. I said, what do I got to do? He said, just knock him out. Do I got to say anything? Because I don't like talking. He said, no, just go up to him. Say, hey, what's up? And then knock his ass out. So that's great. We go into the pool hall. Kind of, no, what was that? Mac and, uh, Mac and McClellan. Yeah, I think that was Mac and McClellan when they had the pool hall right there on the corner. Walked in there. They pointed them out. Then they stepped back in the corner was watching. I said, okay, well, they want to watch from a distance. I walked up to, hey, what's up? Soon as he said, huh? Pow! One blow. Then they broke that boy neck. <laughs> <laughs> With a round cut. Wham! He fell. I thought maybe he wasn't going to fall with the first one. That's why I was hitting him with this one. Boom! I was going to catch him with that uppercut. Boom! And lift him over in the corner, but the first blow did it. By that time, he was out. The guy's trying to wake him at his ass up. Man, man. Of, course, of course, I hung around. Thought maybe he wanted payback. He, he, he wanted to get back. Then we could take this fight to the end. But he came up. Man, what the hell happened? I said, I knocked your punk ass out. He looked like, Man, what you hit me for? You want to get hit again? No, man, no. Damn, man, I think you broke my jaw. I said, you talking, ain't you? Your jaw couldn't be broken. So I go over there to the uh, front door stand there. Which car them steps out and was like, <laughs> he knocked you punk ass out. <laughs> they hollered from the door for you. Know? I was like, man, where the hell did y'all do it? The boy's weak, man. Look at him. You don't even want no re- Replay. So I went on and just took it for what it was, left out the door. They counted the money out, ran out the door to me. I was like, hmm, that's good. Bruiser told me that he want me to fuck somebody up. I said, ain't no problem. Shit. You, you, you being my nephew, give me two. That's when he told me who he was. I said, ah, uh, money. Okay. So we ride up there to the uh, restaurant we're on Grasship and uh, Cadillac. I mean, Grasship runs across on the Coney Island place by the freeway, 94 and Grasship. Harper. Harper, yeah, Harper. So we ran across there. I ran across there because they didn't want to pull up. But as soon as I stepped inside, they pulled up. I said, what the hell? They made me walk across here before they could have drove me across. So they out there blowing their horn. I'm like, Damn, they... So the boy looks. He looks at them and they out there doing this. <laughs> I'm like, 
Well, they pointed them in my direction that, hey, look that way. By the time the guy looked that way, I was already up on him. I had already grabbed his neck with a chin, put his chin up, and wham! That motherfucker went back. After he after he went down into his chair, I grabbed him up by his neck again, and I was finna uh, deliver a death blow. My boy grabbed my arm. Man, you finna kill him. Oh, shit. This is just a beat down. So I looked, my boy said, yeah, man, just deck him a couple of times. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Let me just kill him. He said, no, man, we ain't getting paid for that. I said, okay, no problem. So I punched him in the jaw a couple of times and blacked his eye. I'm like, man, I don't like doing this. This just don't feel right. Just going to let him be able to try to find out who I am and come back. Now I'm saying all this while this fool's sitting here holding his eye. Man, I, I just want to kill him. Man, you ain't got to kill me, man. You ain't got to kill me. I learned my lesson. I said, what you talking about, fool? Shut up. My boy said, hey, man, come on, man. Let's go. We got the tooth out. I, look, I go on out. I walked across the street since they drove across. I'm going to walk back over there where they had dropped me off, make them come back over there and pick me up. So they drove back. And, uh, Boo was like, damn, man. <laughs> you you don't even get a, a, a person of time to even get ready. I said, for what? Said, man, ain't that a sucker punch? Ain't no sucker punch. I know I'm going to hit him, so how's that a sucker? He can fight back. But his first thought was grabbing his goddamn chin. Like, what the? So they grabbed his chin. I popped him in the eye and then hit him with a cross cut. That was it. He slid to his chair. I slid his head up. I was going to give him that last blow when boy stopped me. Because y'all didn't pay me to kill him. You paid me to just beat him up. But see, I'm not used to beating people up. I'm used to taking it to the max. That's the way I ain't got to worry about them coming back. Ain't going to be no, they don't get back at that more. No, you dead. I'm still alive. I ain't got to worry about you. You one person that won't be getting no payback. So my boy said, man, you got to calm down, man. Or we're going to be riding the door. I said, you know something? That's not a bad idea. Let's start going into the into the maximum. Killing these fools instead of just beating them up, man. That ain't no money. I said, yeah, you're right. So how much do you think we should charge? We get this wee shit from you. You ain't French. I said, oh. We we for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, man, come on, man. I'm like, how much you how much would you think? You know, about ten thousand. Ten thousand. All depends on who the person is. But this big time drug dealer, we want to name it fifty or more. Because after we knock him off, you know that they gonna take over the operation. So they gonna make that money right back. So uh he said, Yeah, that's a good ass price. He said, Yeah. So the first one was my nephew. He wanted me to go at the money. I said, ain't no problem. But before I even went at the money, money got back with my nephew and shot him out. What was shot? Hey, I can't remember where they shot that boy at, my nephew. But they shot him and uh, there wasn't no death or anything. They shot at him and then took off. And only a coward would run that you put a couple bullets. Man, you going to do it. Do it. Don't go shoot at somebody and they ain't dead when you leave. We call you motherfuckers the almost one. Well, we almost got him. Almost don't make shit because now he going to come back and try to get you. And that's when I came in for a for the get back. So I go after the boy. We found out where he lived, where his wife stayed, well, where he stayed. So we parked down the street in the van waiting for him to come out. Cause we know he did. We see his car. So... He's sitting down there and all of a sudden his head pop out the door and he looking. Then he steps out a couple more steps and he looks again. He assuming everything clear so he jimmy down to his car. He don't run fast. He just jogged down to his car and got in. But I guess he must have spotted something because Witchcock cranked the car and pulled out a little. 
he cranked his car up and just took off. So we had to take off behind him. We driving down the street. We get up on Linwood, Linwood and he pulls up into this McDonald. Do you think he's seen her? I said, yeah, I'm quite sure he's seen us. That's why he pulled in McDonald's, unless he's going there. So we pulled up in McDonald's. We still sitting in the van. He inside the window doing this. Then all of a sudden his finger came up, like pointing at him. I see you. Well, of course, uh, we stepped out the van. We scrapped like bears, and we go up there to the window, pull the coat back, Grab hold of the barrels and tilt them up. Which car talking about? No, nah, man, too many witnesses. Too many witnesses. I looked around. I said, There's a lot of people in there. And man, we not. We can't do it because we have to kill everybody in that store. I said, No, nah, man, we ain't going to do it. Damn. We'll catch them again. But of course, that was doing like this. That <laughs> fool hit the floor. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know that we would go shoot at him through the glass. But he hit the floor. Boom! I was like, <laughs> we laughing as we walking away with the guns and everything, get back in, to the van. After we get back in the van, everybody just laughing and bawling at the fool. We said, man, that fool hit the dirt. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, why hit the dirt? He didn't see us go start shooting when we first pulled him out. He should have knew that. Maybe they ain't going to do it too many people. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I'm not going to kill you around a bunch of people so people be able to tell the police, yeah, he was him, blah, blah, blah. It was him. They be able to do nothing, Matt. Why y'all think I always wear this hoodie up and pull? They can't see nothing. Not even my eyes. The only thing they see is a round black face with a beard. 